Good morning. How are you doing? How was your night? Uh, sorry, I'm not all dolled up this morning. It's because I want to be not. Um, listen, I don't feel like I have to put on makeup all the time to shoot a video, especially when I, when you know I have a strong message. I feel like I have to deliver. Um, just take me as you see me, okay? No faking around here. I'm just arranging my kitchen, doing my seeing a rapper with yourself. Um, was about to wash my dishes, and I said, "Why not just have my people and talk to them when while I'm doing what I'm doing?" And the title of this video today is "God Sent My Husband, But I Wasn't Ready." This is my computer. That's the shade of my computer right here, because I'm um. And that's another thing. I do not have the time to set up the camera, the lighting, the na, 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 na. as far as you can see me and you can hear me. That's it. So God sent my husband, but I wasn't ready. I hope one or two women or ladies can relate to this video. I hope this video will be helpful to you. And I would really appreciate it if you can subscribe to the channel, like the video, share with a friend, and tell me your experience in the comment section below. Um, really, God sent him, but I wasn't ready. And I will tell you why I wasn't ready, though I thought I was ready. You know, I believe in the saying that if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. You know, most of the time in our lives, when we want an opportunity, we have to get ready before the opportunity comes. We don't wait until you have the opportunity to get ready. That's a little too late. But here, uh, my story goes like this. So, um, I met him a few years ago, and we saw it once, and we started talking uh, long distance after that. I remember, so remember, I used to visit my friend in Texas and we were still talking over the phone, over text. And uh, now he is originally from, no, his parents are from Jamaica, but he was born in Canada and he grew up here. His parents' parents are from Jamaica too. Um, I am Nigerian, and I think I, I never told the bad what I'm about to say right now. I, don't, I can't remember if I did tell them, but whatever. I always wanted to date a Nigerian, you know. I love my culture so much. I'm totally a Nigerian, but I don't know why I'm more inclined on the Nigerian side, because I love it, I guess. You know, the Ada, Ada, Deze. Hey, my name, my Igbo name is in Kachinya. So I always was fond of my culture and I thought that I would marry a man from my culture. Not only that, but an African man. You know, like, okay, it could be from Togo, it could be from Ghana, but not too far around Nigeria, you know, somebody that's my neighbor. Um, so when he start, first started making passes, I did not take him serious. I did not even pray about it. Like, I wrote him off without giving it a second thought. I did not take him serious. I did not consider him. And that's because I had my standards. I had my preferences. And, you know, that's another thing. There's a difference between what you want and what you need. But when you have the blessing of having what you want and what you need in the same package, please recognize it. Just, you're, you're blessed. You're blessed. So, um, me not taking him serious and, and all that, there was this Nigerian brother that was, you know, making passes at me. And you, ah, Najama gets sweet mouth. Jesus. Jesus. He gets sweet mouth. Say, where your mama did? I need for meet your mama. And then, 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 ah, this girl, take her away to mommy, <laughs> you know? Um, I got carried away by what I wanted. Again, 
not what I needed, but what I wanted, what was good to my ears. And um, that did not end up good. And you know, funny, the funniest thing about it is I prayed before I even um, accepted my Nigerian brother. I prayed about it. But you know, sisters, let's be honest. Sometimes when we pray, we want the answer to come in the way we expect it. We're not, we, now listen, it's like, it's like you want God to answer the way your heart feels. You know, and after that, um, it didn't go, go well with my Nigerian brother, and uh, we had to go our separate ways. <laughs> now, I am the type of person I say, Lord, if I will make mistakes in my life at all, do not allow me, do not. I don't care how in love I am. I don't care how strong my feelings are for that person. Lord, never, never, ever allow me to make a mistake when it comes to marriage. Because if you marry the wrong partner, you're finished. I've had, I've known people over the years who happened to have been involved with the wrong people and I don't want that for myself, you know? And um, when things were about to get serious with a Nigerian brother, I took three days and fasted because I'm like, God, <laughs> what you say is what is final. I'm not taking any jokes at all. So um, the first two, the first day, Nothing. And when I took three days fasting, it's dry fasting, as in morning and night. I'm not eating. I think I was drinking water around 6 p.m., but that was about it. So I took three days fasting, and I prayed. <sighs> On the second day, the revelation I got was enough to tell my Nigerian brother, bounce. It can't, it can't be. It can be. God is not misleading me. And at that time I prayed, I was radical about it. And I was like, not the way I feel, not my feelings, not what I want. Lord, your will, because you know what's the best for me. And that was like, was, regardless of my feelings, my feelings didn't matter at that point. Because the Bible said that the heart of man is deceptive. You know, there's a way that seems right to a mind, but the end of it is this fear. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I said, God, it doesn't matter what I feel. It doesn't matter at all. Your will will be done. What I received on the second day at night couldn't be tempered with. And I said, brother, that's about it. After that, another Nigerian brother. <laughs> You can clearly tell that uh, I was inclined, eh? I was really, I really, really wanted to date my brother so bad. Um, that relationship was awkward. Um, I was not fully invested in it because everything was still fresh. You know, it was the get to know me, I get to know you period. But even at that, I just recorded the one who was ready to die for me, ready to sacrifice anything for me, ready to do anything, you name it, and focus on what I thought I really, really wanted and was the best for me. That did not end up well either. And, you know, it's not that any of those brothers were bad people. It was just not meant to be. We were arguing over the, the little stuff, like the pettiest, you name it. It was so uncalled for, but it was just not meant to be. And maybe that's because of my prayers. Lord, do not allow me to make any mistakes when it comes to marriage. That's the last, I can fail at school, Lord, I'm fine. My boss can sack me from work. It's okay. Anything can happen, it's okay. But me making a mistake when it comes to marriage, God, of 
God forbid. God forbid. So I, maybe it took that second Naja brother to teach me lesson. Me. <laughs> like Lord, like why is it that I keep navigating towards what isn't good for me or what is not meant to be. I guess I did not understand it at first. But once I gave my, my jamo, that's how I call him. Once I gave my jamo brother a chance or the opportunity to show how he was God sent for me. A few years down the line, and I never, never regretted it. Never regretted it. And I thank God. Now, I don't want us leaders to realize what is good for us too late. I am fortunate that I did not go any further with those Naja brothers before it was too late. Because what's not meant to be is not meant to be. You know, the verse says, do not, uh, what God has joined together, no man should put asunder. And what God has put asunder to, let no man put together. Because that is the recipe for destruction. If you're not meant to be, you're not meant to be. Don't force it over feelings. Feelings, they are just feelings. They come and they go. You don't build a solid, a solid foundation on feelings. <laughs> you don't build a legacy on feelings they're not enough so ladies out there i want to encourage you follow the heart of god not what you want if you are blessed enough to have what you want and what you need in the same package like i am glory to god the fact that he's not nigerian doesn't mean that nothing doesn't mean anything a good man is a good man regardless of his origin we're all one in christ anyways you know so that's my story on how God sent it, but I wasn't ready. It goes even deeper, but that's the most important part. So I hope this encourages you today. Please spot the brother, okay? And know what's God's perfect will for you. If you're not too sure about it, pray. Radical prayers. Yes. And God will show you. I've been 12 minutes in. Thank you for watching me.